government is well on its way to recruit 10,000 more police officers in a bid to curb insecurity in the country. Deputy President William Ruto revealed this today when he met the Independent Police Oversight Authority. This move comes hot on the heels of pressure on the government to bolster security in the country. Katie and Betty Chalo with the details. During the meeting, Deputy President William Ruto revealed that his office is in talks with Treasury to hire an additional 10,000 police officers to give impetus to the war against insecurity in the country. Ruto also announced plans by the government to hire up to 1,300 vehicles to cater for movement of police officers when responding to distress calls. The move comes a day after the Inspector General of Police, David Kimai, gave a three-day grace period for Mandera residents to voluntarily surrender illegal firearms. We have actually been informed that quite a number of the communities have harmed themselves, both communities living here with illicit small arms and light weapons. And they have some semblance of militias group that they are protecting the two of the clans, each of the two clans. And therefore, we have given an ultimatum. However, reports reaching KTN indicate that no one has since heeded to that call. According to Mandera County Commissioner Michael Tialal, residents still have two more days to surrender their firearms, failure to which the government will use force to disarm those in possession of illegal firearms on Thursday. Further reports from Mandera indicate that normalcy is slowly returning to the region with many residents making their way back home where they fled during the attacks. Administration police in the area have since intensified their day and nighttime patrols in efforts to enforce peace. Betty Kialo, KTN Prime.